Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. For a while now, European automakers have been reticent to get involved in the EV game. Lots of diesels, a few hybrids, but nothing pure electric. Until now. So we're here to check out Audi's e-tron program and BMW i, because it looks like things are changing. All right, I'm here with Henrik, the product manager of the i8, and behind us is the i3. Henrik, thanks for being with us. BMW i, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's uh, our new sub-brand. Um, we have already one sub-brand, which is BMW M, where we have a very clear focus on the most performance-oriented right. vehicles in right. the portfolio. Going and fast, exactly. turning quick. Yeah. And here we have the focus on innovation, pure innovation, the mobility of the future. It's a plug-in hybrid. We do have a pure electric front-wheel drive system, a 96 kilowatt electric engine in the front, and then in the rear you have the three liter combustion engine for the rear wheel drive. In the center you have the life module. It's our carbon fiber cell, which is the center of the whole car, where the high voltage battery pack is located, and where the alloy front part is connected to and the alloy rear part is connected to you have the pure electric drive in the front. And this is what we also see as a great advantage of the i8 because you have two cars in one. You can drive up to 70 miles, pure electric, okay. so pretty Depending fast. Depending on how you drive. Exactly. Then in addition to that, you have the combustion engine for the nice road trips. What is uh, the great advantage of this is the acceleration in the fifth gear. So when you are between 50, 60 miles, right. it boosts you. When are we going to start seeing these roll off the line? The i8 is going to be launched in 2014 okay. and the i3 a little bit earlier, uh, end of 2013. That's not bad. For us in the development uh, team, it's yeah. tomorrow. That seemed, I, I bet, I bet. <laughs> Here with Jeff Curry, the head of uh, product planning and marketing for the e mobility program. Thanks for being with us. How you doing? All right, so tell me a little bit about your job, essentially. Well, we just started to really develop uh, Audi's uh, position in the electric vehicle space. Uh, that's our e-tron brand. So anything you see with an Audi rings on it that has a plug, you'll see the e-tron name on it. We really have a holistic philosophy about what it means to drive a vehicle in today's society. We've been investing in renewable energy sources, uh, starting with wind farms in Germany. So we look at the whole system. Where is the energy coming into the system? It's not really a silver bullet just to make electric vehicles. If you're not looking holistically about how do you create an end-to-end -end solution for carbon, you're really not looking at it in the right way. So here we are with Marcos, technical engineer on the e-tron project. Thanks for being with us, Marcos. Yeah, hello everybody. Tell me a little bit about this car. Yeah, it's is an electrofahrzeug. We have um, here ungefähr 85 kilowatt Okay, uh, actually, that's I think that's German. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so English. Okay. Would be okay. Good. <laughs> Let's try again. Thank yeah. you. It's an electrical car based on an A3 platform. The car has two batteries inside, one under the floor and the, okay. the center stage. Another one in the rear and the trunk. Yep. Yes. The drive dynamics, are they similar to the sportiness that a normal Audi Yes, has? it's because of the high torque. It feels like a standard Audi. As you're taking corners here and stuff, it, it certainly feels well balanced and that's a great thing. And then there's also regen braking that you can use the paddle yes. shifters to adjust, right? Yes, you have two. Oh wow, Regeneration. yeah. Regeneration, you feel it, yes. Yeah, and you can drive through it, but yes. it also regions. Yes. Out of that. Some good people don't need a brake anymore. If I drive the car, maybe after 20 minutes, I forget that I'm sitting in an electric car. Yeah, yeah, that's it's right. A, that's a good a, point, yeah. yeah. It, I do forget that I'm in an electric yeah. vehicle because it yeah. doesn't look so weirdly yeah. different than every other car on the road. Essentially, this A3 won't be coming to market, right? Right, not in the form you see here. We're using this as a technology platform, really put our EV powertrains out in the real world, see how they perform, see how people like them, learn from that, which is a key aspect because this is an all-new technology, and then you'll see that apply to production vehicles that we'll announce later. There you go. Pretty encouraging to see two of Europe's leading auto manufacturers realizing that EVs need to be a part of their lineup as well as the diesels and hybrids. All right. For TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.